Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video training, I will show you how to use Theme My Login plugin to create custom login and registration forms. We are going to achieve this at the end of the tutorial. First, there will be an item named User Account. When we hover on it, we will see the register and login navigation links. Upon clicking any of this, we will be directed to the respective interface. Let me show you. Here you can have not only custom links, but also beautiful interfaces. Let me show you how boring the default login form looks. So, we have to get rid of this. Well, friends, now I'm on the dashboard of my website. Before starting, we need to enable user registration on our site. To do that, navigate to Settings and then click General. Scroll down a bit. Make sure that anyone can register is enabled. Let's check this box. Now scroll down and hit Save Changes. Well, to create custom login and registration interfaces, we'll use a plugin named Theme My Login. Let's install it first. To install Theme My Login plugin, go to Plugins, then click Add New. This is the plugin search box. Okay, search for Theme My Login. Here is the plugin we are looking for. Click Install Now and then click Activate. Now we have successfully installed and activated the plugin. Let's go to its settings page. Simply click Theme My Login in the sidebar and you are here. Firstly, you should enable Ajax request. That way, the registration and login process will be faster. Let's enable it. Here is the login type. You may choose to allow username only, or email only, or default. Well, let's see how the login interface looks while default is selected. Let's scroll down. Here you see a few URLs. I need to copy the login URL to show you the login form. Then view the interface in an incognito window. See, a user has to input either their username or the email address to login. Also, notice that the login interface now has a nice and custom link. It's all because of the Theme My Login plugin we have installed. Now, back to the plugin setting page. Scroll up. Let's change this to username only. Now, scroll down and click Save Changes. Let's refresh the login page. See, this time only username is required. The same applies to email only. However, it is a standard practice to allow both username and email. So let's switch back to default. Almost the same thing applies to registration. Currently, default is selected. 
which means a new user has to input both their username and the email address to register on the site. So let's view the current registration interface. A scroll down and copy the URL for registration. Now let's view the interface in an incognito window. See, in order to register according to current setting, both the username and the email address must be input. Let's get back to the theme my login settings page once again. Scroll up. Now let's change this to email only. Scroll down and click save changes. Let's refresh and view the registration interface. See, this time only email is required. Well, now let's get back to the theme my login settings page once again. Let's scroll up a bit. Check this box if you want to allow users to set their own password. If you want to allow a user to log in automatically after registration, check this box. Let's scroll down. Now, this section is for slugs. These are the default URLs for the respective interface. The theme my login plugin has set these URLs. These are the default slugs for the interfaces. However, you can set your own slugs. If you do that, the associated URLs will also change. After making any changes on this page, be sure to hit the Save Changes button. Otherwise, any changes that you have made will not reflect. Now, let's copy the link address for the registration interface. Navigate to Appearance, then click Menus. The primary menu is selected. We created this menu in our previous tutorial. You can watch that to learn to create a new menu on WordPress without any plugin. OK, now scroll down. Currently, the register page and the login page are not in the menu. No such pages have been created on this site yet. As you can see from the View All tab, You can create these pages. Or you can create custom links to serve the same purpose. Let's click it to create a custom link. Next, paste the URL we copied for the registration form. Now, let's enter register as the link text. Let's hit Add to Menu. A custom link by the name of Register has been added, as you see here. Expand the link. Check this box to open the link in a new tab. Let's click Save Menu. In the same way, let's create the login custom link. Let's open the Theme My Login Settings page. Scroll down and copy the login address for the login interface. Now go to menus once again. Let's create a custom link for the login form. Expand the link. Check this box to open the link in a new tab. Collapse the link. Now, let's drag and drop these two navigation links under my account.
lastly let's rename this as user account now click save menu well then it's time to visit the front end here are the desired register and login links let's click the registration link the form has opened in a new tab as we instructed a new user has to put their email address in this box then hit the register button now let's view the login form it's also impressive looking here you have to input login credentials in case you forget your password click here it's the lost password page as you can see you can navigate between the login form the registration form and the lost password form they are interconnected in other words they come in a single package along with the plugin theme my login these pages are much better looking than traditional login page so let me remind you how that looks it's pretty isn't it and you have to get rid of the wp admin or wp login slug as well this slug is pretty common among wordpress users being easily predictable you should change that now let's see how to set custom slugs for the login and registration forms navigate to the settings page for the theme my login plugin scroll down let's change the login interface slug to sign in and the registration interface slug to join us and now click save changes scroll down Here is a thing to note that the URLs for the login and registration interface have also changed. Well, let's see how the login form looks now. Let's copy this URL and open the interface in an incognito window. See, the slug is now signed in instead of wp-login. or wp hyphen admin now let's see the registration form let's copy its url and open the interface in an incognito window see the custom slug here for registration form well then let's register on this new looking form let's see how it works first input the email address and then hit the register button here is a confirmation that registration is complete now you have to check your email and visit the login page okay then let's do it This is my email inbox. Here is the mail we are looking for. Let's click it. Follow this link to set your password. Click this link to view the login page. Okay, now you know the rest of the procedure. Okay guys, This is how you can create a custom login and registration form on a WordPress website. I hope you like this video. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button and also leave your comments and subscribe to the channel. Okay then, until the next time, have a big one.